Hey Prepper Squad, Fatal here. Welcome to another Fallout 4 test or what if or what happens video. This one here is brought to you by Stick is Good, who asks what happens if you kill Kellogg before you even enter Vault 111. Now what I think they mean by this is killing Kellogg before I even enter the cryopod. Now I can't answer this right now Stick is Good. I can't kill the actual Kellogg. Now for those who don't know, Kellogg in the beginning of the game is actually a different Kellogg than the one you fight. It's actually a different NPC, different ID. The Kellogg in the beginning is called the Mysterious Figure, and the Kellogg you fight is called Kellogg. Be sure to check out this video right here on the screen or in the description to get more details on what I mean by that. But what I can do in this video is kill the Mysterious Figure before the cutscene happens to see if the cutscene even continues, does the game crash, or is the cutscene just going to continue as normal with Kellogg just on the ground dead. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on with the story as normal. I'm going to enter the cryopod and we're going to see Kellogg, also known as the mysterious figure, up here. I'm going to grab his ID, and then we're going to reload the save. So let's enter this cryopod. That is a mod. Don't worry about that. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Now what Stick is Good is asking me to do is to make sure Kellogg is dead before this even happens. Now to do so, I'm going to have to no clip out of here, but I can't. As you can see, no clip does not work. I'm going to turn it on. No clip is off. I can't move. I can't move forward. But I can toggle free camera and move forward. So now that I'm here, I'm going to click on him and get his ID. Now to, to show that it works, I'm going to type in kill. So that's how I know it works. Kellogg is dead. So now that I have his ID, I can load the save and his ID is actually going to still stay in the console, allowing me to kill him again before the cutscene even happens for what Stick is Good is asking me to do or try and do. So let's reload the save. So here I am again, back where my save was. If I press the console command, Kellogg's ID is still right there. So I can actually... I might be able to move him to me, so if I move to player, he might actually come to me. Tech will be with you every step of the way. Here. No, actually I cannot move him to me. But I can kill him. So I just typed in kill, which now should in turn kill the mysterious figure, also known as Kellogg, from the beginning of the game. So let's continue as normal and see if that Kellogg figure is dead. In here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. And just for good measure, I'm gonna kill him again. Now the moment of truth is if this cutscene continues as normal. I don't hear any uh, talking. I can move around still. I can't bang on the window. Oh, I can't. Here we go. I can bang on the window still. No talking. Let's check what's going on. There he is. Right there. Dead as a doornail. So it did kill him. What happens though? Completely breaks the sequence. Completely breaks this whole sequence. That's what happens. This scientist would not move 
because Kellogg is not moving. Let's resurrect them. And let's go back in here. Cutscene will still not continue. So, stick is good. That answers your question right there. That test was a fail. Killing Kellogg before you enter the cryopod completely breaks the game, and you cannot even leave the cryopod afterwards. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your questions. Stick is good. Be sure to leave your suggestions down in the comment section on any Fallout game. Fallout 3, New Vegas, or Fallout 4, any one of those games on what you want me to do or try. And I'll be sure to get to every single one that I can. Be sure to like the video as well as subscribe to my channel to support me as a creator. And if you want to support me even more, my channel now allows members. So you go ahead and click that join button. Be a member and your name will be in the description for as long as you're a member. If I get five members, I'm going to create a new perk where I shout my members out monthly. So thanks for watching guys. Stay proper. Fatal Steven out. Peace.